What's up, y'all? It's your boy, Black Iowa, and welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Black Iowa. On today's episode, I'll be making some fried pork steak. Two of my favorite words right there. Fried and steak. We can't go wrong, but we gotta get started to get moving along. Come on, baby. Right, baby fried pork steak perfect for a Sunday dinner and that's kind of what we're gonna make here today the big meal baby the big weekend meal all the fixings mashed potatoes gravy green beans and of course our fried pork steak so the first thing that we need to do today is go ahead and uh, get the batter up if you will batter up gotta make our batter that's gonna consist of uh, eggs in one and some flour on the side, dip in the eggs, move to the flour, and then we're gonna double dip just like old George Costanza did that one time, boy. So, let's go ahead and get dirty and get to work. Come on, baby. All right, go ahead and take six eggs, put them in that bowl, baby. Now we're gonna get ready to mix it up. Whisk yourself away to a world of fried pork steak, baby. Make sure that you get them good and mixed up and blended to where it's all the same color in there. And then go ahead and take that big bad dude right there, that pork steak, dredge it down in that egg. And you want it to get all the way covered. Now you're going to make a hell of a mess while you're doing this, but it's going to be a hell of a meal too, baby. I can guarantee you that. Take it from the egg, put it straight in the flour. Cover it all up too. See that egg will act as a, you know, a adhesive. It'll keep that flour on there good. Like I say, if you got some bare spots on yours, you can go back and double dip. But we don't need to today, because that turned out great. Looks good to me. Once you get all your pork steaks covered like that in the batter, and you got your old messy fingers there, clean those off and get you some oil and put it in your pan. Let it heat up. Let it get hot. Hot like Beyonce on a 110 degree day. Now that's hot. Drop your pork steak right in there and let them sizzle, baby. Make sure you lay them all in there evenly. You don't want any of them overlapping, none of that shit. You know, you boys spread out now and cook nice, play nice together. We're trying to have a decent meal here, sir. You play by the rules. Let them go for about five minutes and then you go and get you some salt and put it right on top, baby. A little salt and pepper goes a long way with shit like this, fried food. You don't need anything crazy, just some old salt and pepper. Put a little bit of that on top, and then you can get ready to flip. But be careful when you do, because you don't want that old popping grease to get up and grab your ass, boy. You don't want that shit. Yeah, be careful. Be careful, sir. Flip those over and let them go for about another 10 minutes. See, you want to have a, about 10 minutes aside. It'll be about 20 minutes total, depending on how hot or low you're cooking it, you know. But about 20 minutes is my rule of thumb, until they're golden brown. Then we can do our mashed potatoes. Now you see, they got these instructions on the back of this box here of the mashed potatoes, and all that does is confuse the hell out of me. So I'm gonna show you old Black Iowa's way to do it. You take your milk or your water. I like to use milk because it makes it a little creamier. And don't worry about measuring that shit, no fractions, decimal points, just put that bad boy in the bowl. Don't fill the bowl up all the way though, you want a little room left to mix. Take that milk and heat it up for about six minutes, either on the stove top or the microwave, and then you can add a little bit of potatoes and start stirring it in. Now when you start, you just want to add a little bit because you can always put more in, but you can't take any out, so you got to be careful about putting it in. Just keep adding a little bit gradually and mixing around until you get the desired thickness that you want. See how I'm spinning the bowl there? That's a pro tip. Make you like a human mixer, baby. Add a little bit more and then those are just about as thick as I like them, boy. Yeah, thick and creamy. Ooh, 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 that's dreamy. Then get your green beans, my French style green beans. And the gravy, both in the can, easy to make, no problems there. And there you go, baby. A Sunday dinner fit for a king. All right, baby, the time has come. 
the fried pork steak is done. And I'm having the first bite for me, baby. Bam. Now that's a Sunday meal right there. That's a big old meal gonna fill you up and make you strong all week long, baby. Let's get a bite of this. Mm-mm-mm. Mm. There it is, baby. Mm. Mm, that's good stuff. Man. Hold on now. Hold on. Let me cherish this if you would, please. Mm. Mm. That's something to wash it down to. Mm. Man. You know how you taste something and it just takes you back, boy? I was just in my grandma's kitchen. Reminiscing, baby. Mmm. That's good shit right there. Well, I hope y'all have enjoyed this episode of Cooking with Black Iowa. Make sure to like and subscribe and follow me on social media. You can also watch all my other cooking videos right here on YouTube. Y'all have a good one. Peace.